This video is sponsored by PickTime. What's up? This is John from John Benz for Photography, and PickTime just released a new feature that I'm super excited about. So I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video for you all checking out the new slideshow feature. And if you're not familiar with PickTime, it's an online digital delivery service where your couples can download their images and also order prints. I've been using PickTime now for three years and absolutely love them. The galleries are beautiful, it's easy to use for my clients, and they have so many sale automations that it really helps me gain some passive income from print sales. If you wanna learn more about PickTime, check out my video right up above, and also make sure to check out the link down in the description where you can get a couple of months for free when you sign up. But with the new slideshow feature, now I'm able to not only just show them their photos, have them download their photos and also order prints, but they can also check out really cool slideshows that they can share with their friends and family. So let's go ahead and jump in here and check out the new slideshow feature. So I'm logged in to my PickTime dashboard. Here I'm able to see all my different galleries. I'm also able to see any workflows I have active and how much money I've made from print sales recently. You can see on the left side, I can get to my galleries, my art galleries, sale automation, and much more. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump into one of my galleries and let's go ahead and make a slideshow. So here's a gallery that I just started. I named the gallery, I have the project date, and I also put up a main cover photo for the gallery. The customization inside of PickTime is absolutely amazing. Really, it's something you have to play around with. You can see some of the options here on the bottom right but this is how you first set up your gallery. After this, I'm gonna jump down to photos. And here I can add a scene and choose a slideshow. Now I can name the slideshow and also choose its format. I'm just gonna do a normal three by two. After I've named my slideshow, I'm able to add my photos. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you already have photos uploaded to PickTime for your gallery, you can choose those and move them into your slideshow. Or something I personally like to do is once I've gotten back from a wedding and I've edited a couple of sneak peek photos, I can upload just those photos directly into PickTime and use them for the slideshow. This way, if I haven't even touched all the rest of the photos, like I still have to call and edit, at least the photos that I've already gotten together for a sneak peek will be there ready for me and I can throw them right inside of PickTime. So let's go ahead and find those photos. We'll hit our plus and I'm gonna select my photos. Here's my sneak peek. And I'm just gonna choose all of these photos. Now all my photos are uploaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and select Add Photos. And here's my slideshow. So PickTime pretty much already put it together for me, but I am able to go in and edit a bit if I want to. You'll see on the top left, I have all my options. I can change if I want fast crossfades, slow crossfades, cuts, so on and so forth. We can choose our watermark. We also can beat match to some of the music that PickTime already has chosen and I can make it downloadable if I want to. So let's go ahead and add some music. I'm just gonna click the add music button and let's choose something chill cause y'all already know my vibe. <laughs> so you can see here, there's a whole bunch of songs that I can pick through. All of this stuff is license safe as well, which is pretty cool that it's already built right inside of PickTime. Okay, this is pretty cool, so I'm gonna choose this one. So now we have our song loaded and you can see how long the slideshow is actually gonna be. It's telling me if I wanna beat match for the whole song, I need 152 photos 
which I definitely don't have. <laughs> so a little bit of the beginning should be fine. Another thing that's cool that you can do with your music is you can actually put multiple songs as well. You can see with this plus here on the right. And if you want to, you can have one song and then another song. If you have a large amount of photos, you're gonna be showing for your slideshow. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange some of my photos just a little bit. You can see down here at the bottom, I can move them around. Awesome. That looks good to me. Let's close up. And now let's play the slideshow and see what it looks like. How cool is that that it's all beat match, like really? just built right inside of pick time. So that's a little fast for me. I also don't like the slow crossfades and being beat matched. So let's change it to cut and we'll do we'll stick to slow beat match. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool. So if you're happy with the way that looks, you can basically go ahead and hit done and that'll be a part of your gallery that your client will be able to see. So you can see here, if I preview the gallery, we can actually see our slideshow photos, which we can hide if we want to. And we also can see our slideshow. Keep in mind, you're also able to change where your scenes are. So you can have this at the very top of your gallery if you want to. So it's the first thing your clients see. Now that we've seen PickTime's new slideshow option in action, let's talk about some of the best ways you can use the slideshow with your photography business. Starting out with generating hype and collecting emails with your slideshow preview. Basically, again, after you've finished a wedding or a session, you want to generate hype and excitement around the wedding that just happened. And the best way to do this is with a slideshow. Generally, you can show a sneak peek any kind of way, a couple of photos, something on Instagram, but the best way with doing it through pick time is again, your couple can share this slideshow and people can register to be a part of their actual gallery. By doing this, you collect all their emails and then when the photos are completed, you can send out a big bulk email to everyone letting them know that the full wedding gallery is out and open. This will include friends and family, moms, dads, grandparents, all the important people that you really want to see the photos. And by collecting everyone's emails, whenever you have sales come up, like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Black Friday, any kind of holiday, you can shoot out those coupons to everyone who signed up to see the slideshow. And in the end, this will turn into more print sales. Another option for your slideshows is sending them out to all the vendors at the wedding. Get your vendors excited about the photos that you're taking and sharing the photos that you took. Showing them a highlight slideshow of all the photos of the things that they did at the wedding, if it was the cake maker, the florist, the officiant, whoever, this will get them super excited about the photos and you can let them know that once you have all the photos done, you'll share them with them and they can download them directly through PicTime as well. And if you haven't seen it, you can easily add all the vendors to the gallery separate from the couple by just inviting them yourself. So these are a couple of reasons I feel like making a slideshow and getting everyone inside the gallery early is extremely important. Being able to make more print sales because you've had everyone super excited about the wedding or portrait session is highly the most thing that you want to do with every single wedding that you do. Again, if you don't have a good way to actually deliver your photos and you're looking for an online delivery service, 
definitely make sure to check out Pick Time. You can check out the link in the description below and use the code JBIVTIME to get a free month of Pick Time when you sign up. If you have any questions about the slideshow feature or just want to talk about delivering galleries in general, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this information and if you learned a little bit from it. Subscribe for more information on creative entrepreneurship and photography, and I will catch you all next time. All right, peace.